In this video, we'll take a look at some specific features within Inkscape and show you how they relate to the similar features in Design Space. Whether you know it or not, if you've been using Design Space and some of the other crafting applications to create designs, you may already have kind of a heads up on how some of this works over people who have not used those applications and then try to start cold with using something like Inkscape or Photoshop because some of the concepts are a little difficult to grasp if you've not been used to using them. The big concept that's difficult to grasp for some folks are layers. So since you've been used to using layers in Design Space or maybe some other applications, the same things apply to Inkscape and some of the photo editing applications like Photoshop and so forth. So in Inkscape, what we'll do is we'll make a couple basic shapes. I'll make a square and I'll hold Control Shift so that it makes a an evenly shaped square that is distributed between length and width. And then I'll make a circle and I'll do the same thing. I'll hold Control Shift so that it is a perfect circle instead of an ellipse. And just so that I can differentiate on the screen a little easier, I'll make these two different colors. And as you can see, they are layered over top of one another. And when I go to Object, I can raise and lower them. And if I have many different layers, I can raise straight to the top or lower straight to the bottom as well. The first command we'll look at is Union. If I go to Path, you'll find several of these commands. And the Union command is similar to the Weld command in Design Space. So if I click one object, I'll hold my Shift key and click the second object. I can go Path and Union, and it will weld together or union it to make one sim single object, just like if you use the Weld feature in Design Space. The next command we'll examine is Difference. Difference is very similar to Slice in Design Space. So if I click one object, I click the second object, and I go Path, Difference, it will slice a section away of the lower object. If the object that is on top is moved to the bottom, and we do the same Slice or Difference command, it will slice away from the opposite object. So the object that is on the bottom is the one that will be cut away from. The next command we'll examine is Combine. So if I click one object, hold Shift and click the second object, and I go Path Combine, Combine is very, very similar to the Attach function within Design Space, where it makes it all one color, one layer, and there can be an open path between the objects, but they will come into Design Space together as one layer. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.